Uh, you want the habit? Just stop making a habit. That was a bad joke. <laughs> you laughed though. So it I didn't laugh. You laughed at your own joke. Well, you just kind of have to laugh, but I saw you smile. I so. literally just said that was bad, and then you, you laughed. You're like, don't laugh. I'm trying to hide it. There's like that one guy. You ever seen that video? He like sneezes and he says, he's like, bless you. And says, thank you. The dedication of different uh, character things. Uh, listen, thank you that I got here, so. And then he like continues. You, you watched some wack videos. <laughs> he showed me the other video about the guy talking about that thing. Here in my garage, just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here. <laughs> I was like, what is he talking about? No, he talked about nothing. It's high love yeah. He talked to me in the beginning about something and then it went to nothing. Knowledge. I don't choose to watch these videos. Though. He's like, it's like, have you ever seen the Titanic? No, me neither. <laughs> what the fuck? But I've, <laughs> but I've seen these videos though. Uh, listen. <laughs> <laughs> That was you right now. Uh, Knowledge. You know, you know what's more important than cars? Knowledge. Knowledge. I just installed nine bookshelves to hold my 2,000 books in my garage. That's what he said? Yeah. Because <laughs> he, he loves knowledge? He, lo he loves knowledge. There's a Mexican spot. There's Chipotle over there because you kind of, you know, you like that kind of Mexican too. You want Chipotle? Oh, Chipotle's pretty gas. <laughs> Dude, these young kids and these words, bro. Gas. Bet. But I'll, I'll I, can't, I can't keep up. I feel old. You literally just named two of them. Right? I know that. I, that's, I know. That's what I'm saying. How, who thinks of these words? Freaking Justin Bieber or what? Why are you so obsessed with Justin Bieber? Because that's the only kid I know that's your guy's age. <laughs> bet. What, why, would, why would you say bet? Like, what does that mean? It's like saying dink. It's like you just say it. Who, who said that first? I don't know. Dude, I got a Christmas tree right here. Golden. So, okay, what, what's the goal with the Christmas tree here? So we're gonna print it, I'm gonna print out this tree. So the whole thing is, the whole storyboard is, so we did we did a Christmas tree before, put it on top of a car, right. done that already. I remember that. But then, now, we're gonna do, we went to the Christmas tree lot and didn't find anything. Are you recording this? Cause I'm explaining this. I recorded. Okay, yeah, all right. See, this is <laughs> <laughs> so we went to the so okay let me start over because you didn't record from the beginning right? I was real. Um, oh, right, you just right. it up that's all like usual, like, usual. <laughs> like usual yeah so we didn't find anything at the Christmas tree lot so now we came back here to the shop and then I'm gonna make a tree and print it out mm -hmm. so we're gonna do like a huge tree I'm gonna figure out the size it out of cardboard or something we'll just print it out on vinyl stick it to the ground okay and then he's gonna come in with the drone and like be really close to the ground and say that like we came up with this idea because we're, we're, nobody's gonna know what the idea is until they see that shot. So then he's gonna like zoom out as he's zooming out and be like drifting around the Christmas tree. tree. Yeah. That's pretty dope. I think it'd be cool. Yeah. Instead of like carrying the tree, so we've done the tree on top of a car, we've done Christmas lights on a, on a car, and did, what was the other one? Did something else. There's only so many Christmas things you can do. We haven't done a tree on a Grom. So the yeah. initial thing was we show up to the, we, we film in the car, oh, we're gonna make a video, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna go to the Christmas thing, uh, tree lot, see what we can find. We go there, can't find anything. So and, then he, what you're doing. and then he's like, you know what? I got an idea. And we come back here, print it out. I mean, it makes sense, cause I mean. Cause who else is gonna print out a Christmas tree? Like, nobody, no other company's gonna pay Another company to pit, print out Christmas tree to throw it away in two seconds. Well, that's what I was saying. It makes sense for you because I mean, you just yeah, <laughs> and it's, it's part and it's part of the like. Is that like the coolest Christmas tree you can get though? No, no, no. why well, you don't like that one? I drew all that right now. You didn't see that? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. You're very talented. <laughs> why you don't like that? You don't like my tree? It's it looks kind of boring. All right, don't record this one. Let's see. We can't show you guys. Realistically, like, I mean, how big are we able to make it? I mean, realistically, I can make it huge, any size we want. Cause I mean, you don't want to shoot it and then be like, I oh, don't the tree looks stupid. Yeah. Cause it's gonna look really small. Six feet, just do 10 feet then. I don't, I'm gonna have to put a seam in it though. That was the reason I was trying to stay 
works within a range because at 50 inches, it's one piece. So anything bigger than 50 inches wide, 50 inches wide by six feet, anything bigger than that, I have to put a seam in it. So, but which whatever, it doesn't really matter visually. So, okay, if you're already using that much vinyl, why don't you go to the maximum of the two pieces? That is the maximum. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So we got this Christmas tree. So yeah, it's nice and fucking proper. Cause then you fit in the truck, that's where we put it right here. Nice and girthy. Did you tie it down? No. You didn't tie it on the tree? No, we're sorry. Dude, you gotta tie it on the tree. Me and Mark are so quiet. Answer. Why did everybody get quiet? It's just the camera, it's not a big deal. Me and Mark are going on So you wanna tell everyone where we're going and what we're doing? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I guess we gotta tell everybody, huh? Yeah. Dude, this is as small or however you want to describe this piece of paper, it's really obstructing my view. I got you. I got you. <laughs> look, look, look. This? It's like, I don't know, it's, it's like a hazard glare. Right? Oh. Right? Wow. Oh, dang. Look at all that room for activities. Basic physics right there. So we got the drift car unloaded. Uh, we got our Christmas tree right here on all its glory. We're gonna put that out here in the center of the street. Probably put it right here in the center and then uh, we'll have it all closed off over there. So it'll be a closed course and nobody will be coming through. So there it is. All right guys, so we got the Christmas tree laid out here right in the center, more or less of where we're gonna go so take the drift car and the plan is to drift around the Christmas tree so when he's up with the drone above you'll see it down uh, looking down so you'll see the tree to start and then a section of the tree and he'll go straight up and I'm gonna be drifting around the tree so uh, a little out of breath I need to work out but um yeah so it should be pretty cool so he'll end up going up and I'll be drifting around the tree so See how that goes. Christmas tree here for the special video but um, yeah we got the drift car in the back loaded up a little bit of rain that we're hitting in California I mean California usually doesn't rain so we're hitting it and of course today it's gonna rain up all day so we're on the way there now hopefully it doesn't rain there so we get some tire smoke and stuff um, and we're gonna lay this bad boy down first as soon as we get there figure out the area we're gonna drift and then uh, just get some drone footage and send it Well, we made it out here. This is the 
location we're gonna be in this corner over here but uh it's raining so I don't know if you can see that but it is very very wet so yeah so I think we're gonna have to wait for the rain to clear or we're gonna have to come back tomorrow but um, never rains in California but I guess it's raining today or raining the day you want to do stuff so yeah look at this thing all oh, all wet look at the seats Oh, not good. I'm gonna get back in the truck and stay dry, but uh, we'll be out here for another day. We're saying take three because it's take three. Yeah. Okay, so take three. Third time is the charm. We got this, the second Christmas tree, not the third. We have only did two Christmas trees, that's a plus. We have the second Christmas tree going out to the same spot that we saw last time with hopefully no rain. That's the goal. So we got everything else, we got the tree, we got the helmet, got all the important stuff. Taking the razor to location. We're gonna do the same shot that we did in the neighborhood, but better is the plan. So we made it to the spot, there's no rain out here. That's a good thing. So back at the location that you guys saw earlier. Um, so we're gonna be right here in this corner section. Um, we got all the uh, traffic control coming and the cops are gonna come and block this off. So it'll be a closed course so we can do this properly. But um, yeah, so we're thinking right here in the center, just put the tree out there and then throw some down it's around it, get some drifting in there. But uh, pretty cool spot, there's some mountains in the background. Oh, it smells so bad right here, I hate it. I mean, you're standing on top of a I'm room. very aware of that, thank <laughs> you. Worried about what? Like, oh, they're worried, they're worried about the turn. Right? Well, well, you, you know, probably can't like, tell how close it is, like but the nice. curb is really close. Did you see this cloud of smoke on the camera? Really? Looks, <laughs> looks like you're walking out of like a movie scene. <laughs> I try to go like, I try to go uh, enough around like around it before I shredded it. Yeah, the tire marks look good though. Yeah. It was kind of, at first it was like, I just needed to get them hot and then it was good. Yeah, it was a good run. I lost it up. So much for the Christmas tree. See my shadow it looks all looks like it got stilts. So came out a little closer than I thought. It wasn't too close. I guess it wasn't too far. Got about a foot, maybe a foot and a half. So turned out pretty cool. This is the area right here where we're drifting around the Christmas tree. But um turned out pretty cool. So hope you guys enjoy watching. We want to do a lot more of this kind of stuff, a lot more with the drift car. Um, just keep you guys entertained try to bring something different because a lot of the guys a lot of industry people just do stuff with razors and go off-roading which is cool and we like to do that too but we also want to do something different so appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video